Hi guys, so I'm coming at you midway through my run commute and I wanted to shoot this film just as an update to the, the blog I put out a little while ago about run commuting just to sort of bring it up to date in today's climate and for all the people that are just getting into run commuting as a, as a great way to, to get to work and to uh, experience a bit of a workout before work and obviously avoid public transport and, and things like that. So tip number one is plan and prepare. Make sure you plan the night before. Pack your bag, make sure it's all set up ready to go. It's gonna give you no excuses in the morning if you feel a little bit off from doing it. And then prepare your route. And you can use Strava, the heat maps function if you've got Strava account. You can use Google Maps to find cycling path and, and follow those. Um, or just the, the most direct route to the office from whichever station you come into or from your house. And that's gonna keep it really simple and it's very stress-free if you've got, got it on your phone and you know where you're going. If you live a long way from the office, you know, you might not wanna run a marathon every single day. So what you can do is drive to, you know, somewhere a bit more local and then run in the rest of the way or take a train halfway and then run the rest. Um, and that might mean you can avoid the really busy areas of central cities that you live in or getting on underground, things like that, where it's gonna be a little bit more cramped and a little bit more packed. And it just means that the last part of your journey is a little bit easier. When you are run commuting, you're gonna to want to make sure you pack light. So, multi-purpose jackets, maybe a jacket that you can wear for run commuting, uh, but also doubles up and can be worn later on in the day. Something that packs down really light if you're not gonna be outdoors for too long, but you also need to be wary, especially as we, we go into winter, you might need to stop running. You might need to walk somewhere and you wanna make sure you're still, still warm enough there. So pack light, but pack sensible. It's worth spending a little bit more money to get something that's really versatile rather than having to carry two things, which then you know puts a burden on your back and makes you not want to run commute because your bag's too heavy. It's really important that you run with a good running backpack. Invest in a good backpack. I've been lucky enough to be gifted a backpack by these guys. I am Runbox, and I've actually used all versions of their pack. So from the, the version one, which I've used previously, to this one, which is the pro version, room for a laptop, a little bit more space, and using a backpack like this, you are going to see the difference. You don't want to be that person that's running down the high street with you know, a backpack that you got from a triathlon race or you know, running a marathon or something like that that's just bobbing all over the place. You know, it's gonna really hurt your back, it's gonna chafe on your back, it's not comfortable, and it's actually gonna make the run a lot harder. Get something that's fitted to your back, it's got good chest straps, uh, just like this. Having good chest straps is gonna really, really help you because it keeps the bag in place. I'm not necessarily saying you have to go for this bag, but I find this bag absolutely perfect. Um, it's got enough space for everything I need, but not so much space that I overpack. Um, it's got great pockets on the front, pockets for your keys, for your phone in the front, make it really, really useful, really easy to get into things that you need. Um, you're also able to strap a bottle on the front, which is really useful for longer run commutes or during the summer, if you wanna bring a bottle from home. Um, and it just makes life a lot easier to have a good pack. During the uh, you know, current climate, it's also important you've got a face covering. You might need to jump on the tube. The heavens may open, you may be running late. Uh, hell, you, you might even get a, an injury or something like that and you need to cut your run short. So I would say always pack a, you know, something like this, a snood. I've got one from British Triathlon. And just throw it up over your mouth if you have to get on the tube and then you're not uh, breaking any sort of current reg regulations. Make sure that you've got headphones that allow you to hear what's going on around you as well. Um, so the aftershocks are fantastic because they're bone conduction headphones, means you can hear everything that's going on. So all the background noise you can hear now during this video, I can hear it all as well, even with the headphones in. But it means I can listen to some, some good music to keep me upbeat. Um, or what I actually prefer is uh, either an audiobook or a podcast when I'm running into work. Um, 
something that you know is getting me ready for the day, uh, something that's maybe talking about business, or um, one of my favourites is how I built this, which is for all about sort of entrepreneurial startups and, and learning how businesses have sort of developed. So it just gets my head in the right place while I'm running in and allows me to have something going on in the background. Uh, but you find what works for you. So let's talk hygiene. Obviously everyone's talking about hygiene these days, but I'm talking about the shower situation. So if you're lucky, you're gonna have a shower at the office. Make sure you ask other runners if there's a shower at the office. I actually didn't know we had a shower at our workplace until I asked someone else because it was hidden away and there was no sign on the door. So if you don't have a shower, my top tip since becoming a dad, wet wipes. Wet wipes, so I use water wipes, they're fantastic. They've got no fragrance, so you don't smell like a baby, but they are really, really wet and they get you really clean. Pack a microfiber towel because they're really lightweight, really small, but highly absorbent. And you can wash them in the hand basin so they don't get stinky as well if you keep them at the office, just with a bit of hand soap, wash them, wring them out, and you're done. So really, really important that you don't become that person in the office that's known to be the runner because you pong all day. When you're gonna run in, another really important tip is to keep breakfast light. So when I'm gonna run in, I will have just a really small breakfast the morning before, like maybe a, a coffee and a banana or um, a granola bar or something like that. Homemade flapjacks are a go-to, just a small bit of oats and, and a coffee. Um, and then, you know, save yourself up something bigger for when you get to the office. Uh, you don't wanna obviously be running on a really full stomach. So last of all, I just wanna say, enjoy your run commute. Run commuting is a fantastic way to set up your day. It allows you to take some time for yourself on the way into work. It means you don't have to get into that stressful public transport situation and you can sit at your desk and you can feel a little bit smug because you've already done sort of five, eight, 10K, whatever it may be, on your way to the office. So you feel great, you've got a great mindset and it's gonna help you be really, really productive throughout the day. Thanks very much, and if you've got any... So the last thing that you really want to consider when you're run commuting is your shoes. You want to make sure that you've got something with a lot of cushioning because you're probably going to be doing most of the running on road, something that's got some good stability. So my choice for this run, as you can see, was the Nova Blast from Asics. As you can see, there's plenty of routes you can find that don't involve cars. Sticking to the Thames in London, or most cities you're gonna have a river through it. Look for bike paths on Strava. Just go and explore. It's like an adventure every day, getting yourself to work. Thanks for watching, guys.